my second time at the Festival of Speed and it's great. I mean, this is like my local event anyway. Um, grew up obviously loving cars, loving uh, this event. And um, yeah, it's like a classic British uh, feel to it. Driving some pretty cool cars, some fast cars. And for me to drive it as a, as a British F1 driver, it's pretty cool. You hear a lot of noise from Jolie and Palmer on the exit of Malcolm. There he is, the Renault Formula One driver who's here driving that Renault here today. It's quite narrow, yeah. and. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's so different to what we do normally. I mean, um, I'm driving one of the V8s, so it's quite nice to drive something with a bit of noise as well. Um, and then, yeah, just, I mean, even last year, um, it was not that great weather, but it was so many people on, on either side. So put on a bit of, bit of a show for the fans. Hopefully this year's gonna be a bit better weather and um, everyone can enjoy it. Pretty special um, driving for Renault um, in Formula One, a historic brand. Won the championship many times, um, manufacturer, and uh, yeah, obviously I grew up watching Formula One and watching Renault have success, so to be driving for them and hopefully to be having success with them in the future is pretty special. I hope the Formula One doesn't go electric. I think that's what Formula E is for, maybe in like many, many years than the electric, um, the, the battery power can be can be pretty efficient, but I like, I like, Combustion engines. I like, uh, you know, V8, V10, something with noise, um, something with petrol. Um, yeah, it's nice. That's also got a canopy on. I'm not for that either. So uh, it's nice to see uh, concept cars of the future. But for me, I'd like to sort of go back towards cars of the past. Yeah.